Hello and uh, welcome to a new vlog. Today we are taking a look at the uh, Anang AN8008 multimeter. This product was sent to me by Banggood.com free of charge for the purpose of this review. They also sent me an uh, ESD mat. It comes in this uh, rolled form because I have two benches in here and only one of them, this one where I shoot videos, had an ESD mat. So I needed a second one. Now, unfortunately for me, or fortunately for all of us, Dave from EV Blog uploaded a review of this meter a few days ago, just as I was working on mine. And you can't beat Dave's experience. I can't compete with uh, his level of quality. He has been producing uh, videos for a very long time and his uh, electronics background is impressive. So I recommend you watch his uh, review as well. I will link it in the description below. But only after you've watched mine, I think you will be a true fan. So first I will just uh, unwrap this ESD mat and uh, leave it on a flat surface so that it uh, stretches back, back into its original shape. The meter, as you saw, was shipped in this uh, white box and um, by taking a look inside we get a uh, carry pouch and the meter plus a pair of test leads. The product listing page also showed a bunch of other accessories and I will insert a picture right here on the video. Uh, they were some uh, crocodile clips and another set of cables with some very uh, thin probes but I didn't get those. Not sure why. Maybe they were missing from this package. This is a uh, 10,000 count meter. It's written uh, even on the uh, meter itself. And this makes it ideal for low voltage measurements because you get that extra digit when you are measuring 8 volts for example while on a 6,000 count meter you would only get 2 decimals on this one you get 3. The meter has some safety ratings 600 volts CAT3 and 1000 volts CAT2 but these ratings are worth zero when they are not independently tested by a known laboratory. The meter seems to be a copy of the uh, Fluke uh, 101 and I will insert a picture here uh, for comparison at least in terms of shapes and size they seem to be the same. The test leads are not silicone but uh, that's to be expected in this uh, price range. They are made out of um, PVC cable but still they don't feel uh, as bad as with other cheap meters. The meter works with uh, two AAA batteries. I like meters that work with AA and AAA batteries because you get more capacity out of those and they are cheaper than the 9 volt batteries. Also the cap for the battery compartment is secured with a metal uh, threaded insert. The meter has some nice big digits on the LCD and a really good contrast. Surprisingly for a meter this chip it also has nice viewing angles. As you can see I'm tilting the meter and it pretty much looks nice from every angle except this one. But this one is not an angle you would look at a meter anyway. So this is starting to look like a promising meter for small jobs on low voltage circuits. Let me just take off this uh, protection film. And I mentioned uh, small jobs and low voltage circuits earlier because I often find myself doing a small job either on uh, sub 10 volt circuits or maybe on a 12 volt or 24 volt circuit and I don't want to carry the good old Fluke 87 for the job because it's big, bulky and its safety features are not required on that job. In fact, let me put it side by side for comparison. Just look at how big the Fluke 87 is and uh, it's starting to, to be a problem when you just want to do a small job like I mentioned. So a small, small meter like this one could be handy if it does the job. The backlight seems to be using only a single LED from this right side so the light is not very uniformly distributed across the display but it lights up, it does the job 
and uh, for this price range i guess you can't complain except for the path except for the fact that it automatically turns off after about uh, 10 seconds or so in terms of accuracy i'm not going to test all that dave has some nice test gear and he tested the 10 millivolt range where you get uh, one microvolt resolution and he got bang on results on his voltage standard this is of course great for measuring really low voltage stuff like the voltage drop on a shunt resistor. He also tested all the other ranges and the meter was spot on, no issues at all. Even on AC with its uh, true RMS capability, the meter was capable of measuring up to 1 kHz which is uh, according to its uh, spec sheet. Dave uh, noticed the lack of some uh, useful low current ranges the 10 milliamp and 100 milliamp seem to be missing and I wonder why they left those out because you would use those a lot in low power circuits but I hear there are other versions of this meter even rebranded ones on the interweb that have those ranges but are missing other features. The continuity tester is uh, latched and is decent it's uh, better than what I've shown you on the O1 meter, the one I reviewed a couple of weeks ago, but it's not as good as uh, on the expensive meter. So like I said, it's latched, but it will uh, not catch uh, very uh, short pulses. But certainly it does catch some of the pulses, which is uh, better than on the O1 meter. And this, of course, is influenced by the fact that uh, it uses a pair of uh, cheap probes. When you switch to a better pair of probes, this test improves slightly. Like you see, right here in this position, I'm getting a better continuity response from the meter just because I'm touching the probes in a better uh, spot. Now, before I do a teardown of this meter, I want to measure the current consumption. Dave tested his meter and got a current draw of about 1.7 milliamps, but uh, testing hours, I'm seeing I'm getting a similar value and it uh, varies according to the range I'm on. So it depends on what you're measuring, but it's between 1.6 and 1.7 milliamps. So let's take that figure of 1.7 milliamps. With this figure of 1.7 milliamps and uh, approximating a AAA battery at roughly 1600 or 1700 milliamp hours at a very low discharge current, we can uh, get between 800 and 1000 hours of usage out of this uh, meter. I'm doing this uh, teardown just to compare with the meter that Dave took apart and also to show you a few things. The uh, banana jacks are just folded metal and on heavy usage these will not last very well. The solder joints could break as well. Um, if we take a look at the uh, input section we can't find any protection devices. Uh, there are the fuses of course and a couple of uh, MELF resistors on this side. Uh, a PTC which is moved right up next to the chipset but that's it there are no no mouths there are no uh, input uh, diode protection the fuses are unusually small uh, not sure where you would find these uh, to purchase for replacement they look like the uh, small leaded fuses that you would find in uh, ATX power supplies uh, soldered right on the uh, PCBs Although they are ceramic, uh, don't treat them as uh, HRC fuses, these will most likely explode in the case of a high energy discharge. Let's check if they have any uh, voltage rating on these uh, fuses. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but uh, this small fuse is only rated for 250 volts. So you're left uh, wondering how are they achieving these uh, safety uh, ratings of uh, 600 volts and 1000 volts if their fuse is only rated for 250 volts. So that's why you don't trust the uh, ratings on these uh, cheap meters because uh, they just write whatever they like on, the, on their uh, front panel. 
the chipset is under this uh, blob of epoxy on the PCB that's to be expected in this uh, price range and there is uh, nothing inherently wrong with that it's just a sign that they're trying to lower the cost by every way possible so they're shaving a couple of uh, cents away by not requesting the chip uh, packaged the chipset they are using uh, has an external uh, voltage uh, reference which is this one right here and they are using the ICL8069 which is a uh, decent reference for this kind of uh, applications it has a tempo of 0.01% uh, per degree Celsius certainly uh, good enough for the uh, for this meter overall the board looks uh, pretty much identical to the one that uh, Dave showed uh, so I got pretty much the same meter minus the extra accessories that they've got but if I was to purchase this meter I would have requested at least a partial refund for those accessories missing uh, from the box one thing I noticed during this uh, teardown is that the PCB looks much better than uh, what I've seen in other cheap meters it looks like some decent FR4 was used to make this uh, PCB I'm pretty happy with how this uh, meter looks, how it works. If it would have those uh, extra current ranges, the 10 milliamps and the 100 milliamps, it would have been great. Also, the uh, safety ratings are a joke. You can forget about this. You should only use this meter on low voltages, low energy stuff. Other than that, you will get a nice, accurate and pretty compact meter for just uh, under $25 and I'm not sure if you can get anything better than this for the same price about the uh, ESD mat uh, I can say that it doesn't have that strong smell of chemicals like the uh, old uh, green one that I was using that one had a very nasty smell this one doesn't seem to smell uh, as bad it just have a slight it just has a slight tint of uh, rubber smell but nothing so disturbingly like the other one the green one it also has this uh, nice uh, gray color on one side and the uh, black on the other side i might even start using this one right here on the bench where i shoot the videos because it provides uh, such a nice uh, contrast for the video the old one is pretty glossy and uh, reflects a lot of the lights uh, in into the camera and uh, that's why I use that uh, black sponge every time I shoot videos but with this time it seems like I won't have any problems so I hope you enjoyed uh, this review don't forget to check out the links in the description these links help to fund my activity and keep the channel going thank you for watching and I will see you again next time